All right, you get over here. Now, you answer that door, and remember, nobody has to get hurt. Yes, sir. Oh, evening, Mr. Barkley. Evening, Sam. Kind of got you burning the midnight oil, haven't I? Did that shipment of gold come in yet? Yes, sir, Mr. Barkley. We loaded it quite a while ago. It's already on board the train. You wait right here. I'll get the bill of lading for you. Fine. Say, by the way, what happened to Monty? Monty? Yeah, he was supposed to meet me over at my office as soon as he got back from the mine. Maybe he went out for a cup of coffee. At this hour? Something bothering you, Sam? No, not a thing. Everything is just fine. Well, I'm going home. If he comes back here, tell him I want to see him first thing in the morning. Mr. Barkley, wait, please. Hold it. How is he, Nick? Well, we don't really know yet. The doctor's up with him. Any luck, Sheriff? Oh, it's too dark to pick up his trail tonight. We're going to try again in the morning. We're going to have to have an awful lot of luck to catch him without some sort of identification. Let's hope Jared can tell us something. Well, let's just hope he pulls through. I'm going up there. Nick, the doc said to wait. Oh, well, he's been up there more than an hour. Well, there's not a thing you can do up there except get in the way. Well, I guess you're right. Nick, he's going to be all right. Thanks to the good doctor. Oh, don't thank me. Thank the good Lord. That bullet wasn't an inch or two over. Can we see him now? Oh, I've given him something to sleep, Nick. It would be better if he wasn't disturbed. Rest is what he needs most. Well, Victoria, I'll be back tomorrow to change those bandages. Doc, how soon will he be able to see somebody? Oh, day, maybe two. I don't think it'll be any less than that, Sheriff. Remember, Victoria, no moving around and plenty of sleep. All right. Thank you, Doctor. Good night. Try not to worry. Fred, did you see Sam's wife? Yeah, she took it pretty hard. I'll go see her tomorrow. Audra, I think we could all use some coffee. I'll put some on. Victoria, did Jared say anything at all about the men who shot him? Oh, yes. He recognized them. Oh? The Dunnigan brothers. Dunnigan brothers? Mark and Davy Dunnigan. Well, they shouldn't be too hard to find. They hang out in Sunflower. Fred, how long would it take to get up a posse? Sunflower's across the state line, Nick. So? Isn't a thing I can do. Not a thing you can do. 
Fred, they killed two men right in front of your nose. They came close to killing Jared. My authority ends at the state line. You know that, Nick. I just can't go chasing into another state. Now, I'll give you as large a posse as you need, but they'll have to stay within the state limits. They're not going to stick around here. I'm sorry, boys. That's the best I can do. Now, I've got no more love for the Dunnigans than I have for Frank and Jesse James. But if they're back in Sunflower, they're out of my reach. Well, it looks like we'll just have to bring them back here ourselves. But once they are back, they can be tried for murder, right? They can. And be convicted, too, with Jared's testimony. But if you try bringing them back here against their will, they have every right in the world to defend themselves. You mean they have the right to kill us? Exactly. What you're planning to do, Heath, is illegal. Legal, illegal. Why don't you tell some of that stuff to Sam's widow and kids, huh? All right. All right, Nick. I got to be getting back. Uh, do one thing for me. Check with Marshal Moore and Sunflower before you try to do anything yourselves. All right? All right, if it'll help. But I'll tell you one thing. We're going to get those Dunnigans back here in a cell. You can count on that. citizens. You figure they don't know where the Dunnigans get the money for those contributions? Well, now they can't be that stupid. They must know they're outlaws. Well, I guess they figure a contribution's a contribution no matter where it comes from. Well, let's get the horses put up. Howdy, gentlemen. Howdy. Can I help you? Yeah. I'd like you to clean up and put up the horses, will you? Glad, sir. Oh. Just sign right here, please. That covered? Yes, sir. Tomorrow night also, if you're staying. We might be. Barkley. That's right. You the same Barkley's on that big spread near Stockton? The same. I've heard about you. Well, I'm Heath. my brother Nick. We're uh, looking for the Dunnigan brothers. Do you know them? Sure. Everyone in Sunflower knows them. Well, could you tell us where we might find them? No. Well, could you tell us where the marshal's office is? The corner building. Just beyond the square. All right. Take good care of them, huh? Sorry, gentlemen. Straight flush. Oh, Jamie. You won again. Well, how could I lose with you standing next to me? Mark, keep your eye on this. And you, my little good luck charm, you follow me. I got something for you. That is, of course, if you gentlemen will excuse me. <laughs> Willie, let's have that box. That's it. There we are. Now then. Oh. Look at that. Daisy, it's beautiful. Oh, it's just beautiful. It's no beat. That brother of mine is an expert at cards and women. A little more, John? Why not? Hmm. Daisy, you can see right through it. <laughs> you can? <laughs> well, he drinks for everybody. <laughs> Well, Not now, Jerry. I'm busy. It's important. I gotta talk to you. Later, son. Later. Mr. Donegan? Three kings. That's not good enough, John. I got three aces. Does it to me? Smith John here. 
Well, no, Mark, you don't have to do that. No, I don't have to do that. I want to do that. Just call it a loan. You pay me back when you can. Thank you very much, Mark. Thanks very much. Now, Jerry, what is it? Two men rode into town named Barkley. They want to know where you... Davy. Yeah. Barclays are in town. They asked me about you. I wanted to know where you were. I told them I didn't know. How many of them are there, Jerry? Two. They asked the way to the marshal's office. They did, huh? Hey, uh, Jerry, thanks a lot. Thanks, Mr. Dunnigan. Mark? Now, what kind of business would the Barclays be doing with our marshal? I told you I want you to listen, not talk. This town, my town, is almost entirely free from crime, and the rest of the county is almost as good. Do you know why that is? Yes, we know why that is. Because the Dunnigans do their robbing and killing someplace else. You saw the schoolhouse on your way into town. The Dunnigans paid for almost all of it. Three years ago, we had a drought. Bad one. Practically every head of stock would have been wiped out if the Dunnigans hadn't bought 50 carloads of hay, had it shipped all the way down from the Sacramento Valley. You want me to go on? No, no, not necessarily. What I'm trying to tell you is this. The Dunnigan brothers are Sunflower's most popular and important citizens. It's mighty unlikely that anyone would take kindly to a couple of strangers who accuse them of robbery or murder. Well, now, we're not talking to just anyone. We're talking to the Marshal of Sunflower. And the Marshal of Sunflower tells you this. The crimes you mentioned took place in San Joaquin County, which is out of my jurisdiction. Then you don't intend to give us any help at all, huh? Couldn't if I wanted to. Which you don't. Gentlemen, I'm not trying to intimidate you. Just like to give you some advice. It's friendly advice, even though you may not believe that at this moment. Forget it. I just don't see how we can do that, Marshal. Thanks for your time. Thank you. Yeah. If you're still looking for the Dunnigans, they're over in the saloon. They told me to tell you they'd like to buy you a drink. Yeah? 